in the writerly world, my secret life is the incredibly intense job I have that's completely outside of writing. And in my incredibly intense job, I used to have the secret life of being a writer, except everybody knows about it now. I don't know that holding a secret is, a, is an essential part of noir, but obviously there being a secret is. There being something that's revealed. And I would push that beyond noir to sometimes great literature in general. Uh, when I think of, uh, right now I'm reading All the King's Men, uh, again, which is one of my favorite books. Uh, but when you think about a book like that, or Remains of the Day, or Beloved, none of those books would be categorized as mysteries or noir, but they all contain major secrets as part of the eventual revelation, uh, what drives the characters and what also kind of keeps them from being completely who they are. My job exposes me to everything from the toughest neighborhoods and situations and the most dire despair uh, in the city in terms of, of being in South LA uh, or being in the Rampart area, as well as the most incredible displays of wealth. You know, that, that uh, being in the, in the West Side Country Clubs or being uh, in these, in, you know, huge, just unbelievable mansions. And sometimes I will do both of those things in the same day, you know, travel from one part of town to the other. And these are experiences and connections and relationships with people that I might not have in a different kind of work. Uh, and so, and I get exposed to a whole, you know, just set of other professions as well, which is really interesting for me. And so I definitely learn and steal uh, from the, the various jobs and kinds of people that I encounter. The Los Angeles writer that had the most impact on me, and this is from the point of before my first book, was Wanda Coleman. And I say that uh, completely aware that, that she is being honored as she should be at this event. Uh, I sat with her, I was on that panel uh, that David Euland spoke about. It. It, was, it was myself and Wanda and Luis Rodriguez and David Euland. And one of the things, I had met her before and I told her this before, but one of the things that I was blessed and fortunate to be able to say publicly, especially since that might have been her last public appearance or one of them, uh, was how her work that was set in the Los Angeles that I knew, and I, particularly I was thinking about her short story collection, A War of Eyes, uh, that I had not seen work set in Los Angeles that was reflective of the actual city I lived in, even though the story that I'm thinking about right now is set in Inglewood. But her work gave me the permission to write about the people and places that I wanted to write about. You know, LA is, I think, a friendlier place to be a writer. There's not the same kind of cutthroat competitiveness that I know affects my friends who live in New York and, and other cities. Uh, I think it's a little bit more uh, com community oriented. Uh, certainly, the work that, that you have done in the last couple of years with the LA Review of Books has helped to create a sense of, of cohesion, community, and importance uh, to the literary world in Los Angeles that I think is, is hugely important and deserved. Uh, so it's, you know, it, I think it's a great place to be a writer. And one of the things that just astounds me and pleases me, we're, st we're seeing a broader array of voices for sure, uh, even in the last 10 years. And yet there are still so many stories that are untold and still so many corners that are uh, unexplored. And that's part of what keeps me excited about writing about Los Angeles.